you have a source that particularly says, please don't print anything or you have to go somewhere else for that information. But um, in journalism, you're just gathering everything and then see where the chips fall. My name is Danny Pettis, and I am a writer for University Communications. I think ethics in journalism is about fairness. The values that journalists are expected to adhere to involve honesty and fairness. Um, they're supposed to go to a story open-minded, collect all the information that they can, and report it. In journalism, you're trying to you're a sponge. You're just gathering everything and then see where the chips fall. The journalist is supposed to be the eyes and the ears of the individual who can't be at a, at a crime scene or at a ribbon cutting or whatever. And we're in a position that, where trust is the coin of the realm. And we need the viewer to believe what we're promoting. It's kind of like everything's on the table. If they don't trust the source, then there's no value in the message that they're sharing. There is a process in place to ensure that fairness happens. Uh, number one, you're the reporter. You know what your job is. Then you have an assignments editor who you discuss the story with and they, they understand um, the angle of the story. And then you have other editors along the way, including copy editors, who will go through it and, and try to say, wait a minute, uh, there's something missing here. Uh, let's go back and try to do it now. When I was a reporter at the Times, I was covering an election. Uh, and a candidate said something which, um, frankly, I cannot recall the, the details of the quote. But I just remember, wow, that's... I wonder how that's going to come across. And so I used it. You know, I should have gone back and said, you know, this is what I have you saying. Is this really what you meant? Um, and then it would have allowed him to tone it down. Um, but again, as a journalist, you're just saying, he said it. It's free game, you know, so we can use it. After the quote came out, I did receive a phone call from the candidate. And I said, well, if you'd like, we can try to clarify it now. And he said, no, it's already too late. So in hindsight, I think there were better ways to handle things. The advice I would give to young people who encounter those kinds of situations is just to put yourself in that position. And how would you want to be treated?